Hey, just for your information, this video is only part of the complete video that is linked in the top right hand corner. So should you be interested in even more Sony a6400 microphone setups, definitely go check that out. And now, let's start this one. Here's all the options you need to mount the Rode VideoMic Pro, the standard legendary shotgun mic for vloggers if there ever was one. Low cut filter, plus 20 decibel pregain, and we're gonna use it with a nice dead cat. Starting with the L bracket, of course, at first using one that features a quarter inch mount on the vertical part, quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter, two mini ball heads on top of each other, three eighth of an inch to quarter inch thread reducer, quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter, attaches to the bottom of this mini ball head. The mini ball heads attach to the quarter inch mount on the vertical part of the L bracket via the quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter. 3 8 of an inch to quarter inch thread reducer. Screw it into the bottom of the cold shoe mount of the VideoMic Pro. Also I believe the VideoMic Pro by default comes with at least one of these, so check your box. Then the microphone screws onto the top end of the mini ball head. Let's plug in the microphone before positioning it. And there we go, big road VideoMic Pro on tiny Sony A6400. Low cut filter plus 1 decibel pregain, shock mount, and never shows up on screen. Not even when using the MyCover Dead Cat. Second option, this option will give you a different look and will also come in handy if your L bracket doesn't feature a quarter inch mount on the vertical part. Once again, we're gonna use this tiny QR plate with a quarter inch mount on the back. It'll slide right onto the vertical part of the L bracket and we're gonna fix it in place so later on we can still plug in the microphone. Screw on cold shoe mount. We have to attach it to the back of the QR plate in a vertical fashion and then slide the Rode Video Mic Pro into the cold shoe mount and secure it so it sits like this. Not as versatile as the option with the two mini ball heads, but in my opinion it's the way cooler look. And since it sits way out there, using a fur wind muff is no problem at all. It'll never show up on screen when using the kit lens. So here's another internal audio sample of the A6400. Internal pregain set to around about 25, which means I leveled this to about selfie distance using my regular volume voice. As the next microphone, we're gonna check out the Rode VideoMic Pro. It has a plus 20 decibel pregain and a low cut filter. It is basically the standard, legendary, go-to shotgun microphone for vlogging. So let's check out how much of a difference it makes compared to this internal audio. So currently the internal pregains of the camera are set to one, which is exactly one above zero, which means no audio at all. I can only do that because of the excellent plus 20 decibel pregain built into the Rode VideoMic Pro. I'm also currently using its built-in low-cut filter. It is the most expensive mic out of all of the ones that I've shown you, but it also gets you the best audio quality. It comes with its own foam wind muff, but I'm also using the mic cover that cat, which is fitted to the Rode VideoMic Pro, and this combination really gives you great wind protection. So that's it for this audio hack. Once again, this video was only part of the complete video that is linked in the top right hand corner. So should you be interested in even more awesome Sony A6400 audio hacks, definitely go check that out. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All the tech that I've used in this video is linked in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.